So today has been eventful. Just finished training, gone on to my Insta, um, checked my DMs, and I've been messaged by a private, by a new page, basically. Um, basically blackmailing me, saying they've got a video of me, and they're gonna release it and send it to all social media outlets and former opponents. Um, they want money, basically. They're trying to blackmail me. Um, so I'm gonna save them a job, and I'll post it myself. It is me working like a yell I think it was in 2009 possibly um, I was messing about being an idiot um, throwing it back better than a little girl let me just uh, put that out there and um, this guy's trying to get money out of me so I'm gonna tag him in the video um, feel for you to, feel free to abuse him and probably delete the profile after this um, but all the social media outlets yeah he's What's good, family? Shout out to my doggy, Devil Dog A3, for boosting up your man, the YB, Dire Coin. <laughs> wow. Oh, wow. For my loyal generals out there who follow my channel, you'll know that I've been promising more zesty looking ass behaviour from the heavyweight division. And a lot of you, man, why be? It's, I mean, a lot of you, man, put it on me. Why be? Why are you always talking about these subjects for? Oops. Yeah. Like I said, what you want to do is start asking some of your zesty ass heavyweight boxing dons why they're taking next man's name and or why they talking about AJ Schlong and or why they twerking and or why they talking about how they want to be pregnant. That's what you want to do. Oh, YB, you're from Devon and YB, you fantasize about these things. Listen, whatever I may or may not do, I'll tell you what I ain't doing. I ain't a six foot five burly heavyweight Donny who can throw it back with the best of the females. And don't forget, people, what I find most interesting about this video, yeah, before we even go into anything else, what I find most interesting about this video is the fact that he says it's from 2009. Now, that's relevant because in 2009, twerking wasn't a thing, was it? Let's be real now. It, this whole twerking thing started in, obviously, in the Caribbean, in Jamaica, I thought. Yeah, dirty wine and whatever else. Now, you you either have to be... Listen, bottom line is, yeah, twerking didn't get popular in, in Europe and whatever else till recently. So it begs the question, what is this cat? Where did that... Don't forget as well, it's not like he just did it and it was funny. He actually has technique as well. So that, again, where has he learned that technique? Where has he learned that technique from? You know where he learned it from. He learned it from Dillian, Dean, and the rest of them. And, uh, that's where he learned it from. Yeah? 100%. And if you don't like it, oh, but why be? Um, that's Fraser Clark and... He's my favourite boxer and he won bronze. I don't care what he did. And I'm just telling you what's happening right now. 100%. And it's funny. In his response video, he says, Oh, I'm going to give you the man's name who tried to... And I'm not someone... I'm not going to lie to you. I think blackmail's dead. But, for example, yeah, if I'd have got the footage, I would have never emailed him saying, Oh, I'm going to do this. I would have put it out, full stop. <laughs> yeah, public in the public interest. Do you understand? Blackmail dead. Just put it out there. The people, the people must see it. Do you understand? That's what I'd have done. Yeah? Trying to beg some coins is cringy. I'd have put it straight out there. I wouldn't want no coin to hide the truth. How about that? Yeah? Yeah, 100%. But anyway, even on that note, it's interesting that Fraser Clark, Olympic bronze medalist, said, Oh yeah, everyone should go on there and rinse him. Everyone should rinse the troll. Now, like I said, I'm not condoning. Them actions from the troll was dead, like I said. But, I mean, let's roast the troll. No, if, if, listen, if anyone's going to be roasted in this situation, it needs to be you. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Imagine, imagine a video comes out of a big, burly, heavyweight, bronze medalist twerking when it wasn't even popular. Like, it's one thing twerking, yeah, when it's popular and it's, what, well, it's, it's dead, listen. Let me tell you now, you ain't going to see the YB twerking for nothing, never. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> That's what you're not going to see. But, if I was going to twerk, if in some next zesty, fruity, yeah, rainbow flaggy, alternate reality, the YB was zest.com, 
Yeah. If in some next reality the YB was Jaden Smith, yeah, <laughs> was, was Jaden Smith's reincarnate, super fruity. Guess what? I would, I still wouldn't have learned to twerk until 2016, 2017. No one was talking about twerking in 2009. Yeah, the only men, especially men as well, because even the thing is, well, even if you say, well, Fraser Clark's from Yard and. You know, he know even if even if you say he learnt the culture from the Caribbean yet, it still begs the question, because guess what? Even in, in the Caribbean, you ain't seeing no man flicking his batty hole like that. That's what you're not seeing. So again, it begs the question, because the only people I saw back in 2008, 2009 doing them things there was from the Caribbean. Yeah, the dance hall thing. So where was this man, Fraser Clark, getting it from? You know where he was getting it from. Yeah, he'd been going to, where's that place in London? I'm not sure, is it Soho? Yeah, Soho, Camden, them ones there, them zesty ones there, whole bunch of zesty man. He'd been going to Soho, and them next man, them big burly men, been showing him how to, how to, listen, 100%, your man Fraser Clark, in between training sessions in London, he'd been going to Soho, chilling at all them next rainbow flag bars, and them big burly dons have been showing him, the big tops, the big tops, yeah, at them bars, the big tops have been showing the bottoms how they want them to mix it up. And that's just what it is. Fraser Clark's obviously a bottom and the tops told him, listen, you best, you best move your booty like this. That's how daddy wants it. And that's what happened. Come, and that's the thing. Oh, YB, you're a mag, and it mad, you know, people talk about my imagination. Oh, YB, your imagination, you're this, you're that. Wait a minute. Is it my video that I'm twerking in? Oh? Huh? Yeah, wait a minute. Is it my name that changed to another man's name? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Is it me who talk about AJ Big Hard Schlong? You understand? All these things that these big burly heavyweight general goofy zesty cats be doing, and people talk about, oh, why be? You're too much, and why be this? Why be that? Like I said, what you want to do is start asking the, or answering the facts that are going on. Because you, you celebrity man fans. Oh, why be? I don't care what my boo does. That's my boo. Fraser Clark, my boo. He, he, my, he, my team GB Olympic bronze medalist boo. Yeah, this behaviour is just not acceptable in my opinion. And again, I've got nothing wrong with you being whatever you're being. But let's be honest. Don't be capping about. Oh, now, you know what I mean? Let's be honest. Come out and say, listen. I've been going to Soho. I've been going to Camden. For a few years, I love that scene, and I'm into that scene, simple as that. I'm into the whole GBH scene. Yeah, is it GBH? <laughs> yeah, I'm into the whole poppers. I'm into poppers. I'm into going to Soho. I'm into going to Camden. I'm into going to all them little bars there, and doing a whole bunch of zesty shit-ish. Yeah, I'm a heavyweight. I'm a heavyweight. My name is Fraser Clark. I'm a Team GB heavyweight boxer. And I love going to Soho and popping, doing poppers with a whole bunch of man. That's what you got to do. <laughs> Yeah, I love poppers, I love GBH, I love all them ones there. We go all night, yeah, whole bag of man. And that's what you need to do. And I'll be, I'll be saying, listen, salute to you, because you live in your truth. Same as Dillian, I told you before. It's 2022, I love I love seeing happiness on Dillian's face. Yeah, Dillian's got that, that the happiness on Dillian's face. Only a man can give that to him. He ain't getting that from a woman. Why do you think Dillian be miserable? He'd be miserable because it's only recently he'd been getting fully satisfied by man, by Dean. Do you understand? Women never did that for Dillian. And that's why he'd be, you know what I mean? Why, do you think it's coincidence? you never, you never seen Dillian start smiling and licking his lips until recently. Exactly. Yeah, he weren't living his truth. He's happy now. Yeah? Why do you think Dillian don't care about losing money? Why do you think Dillian don't care about paying loads in legal fees and then losing cases anyway? Exactly. Because he's happy. Yeah? Dillian got that... That loving, what's that loving called? I'm not sure what it's called. You got that man loving, yeah. When a man, listen, when a man starts stretching your prostate out, from what I've heard, it's something next thing, and that's what your man Dillian experiencing. He experiencing that prostate, that prostatal stimulation, hundred percent. And that's all. Listen, what can I say? Oops. <laughs> yeah, he's super happy. He love it. He don't even care about anything else anymore. All he care about is him and his man's Dean, his husband. His yeah, hundred percent. Now, back to this other cat, because I believe they're all involved. Yeah, put it this way. Life's too sh like, like this. Are you telling me in this whole scene? Oh, YB, your imagination. No. Are you telling me 
The UK is the UK heavyweight boxing scene ain't that big. In fact, the world heavyweight boxing scene ain't that big. And you want me to believe it? It's all a coincidence. You got all these zesty ass cats in in the in the cut right now, doing a whole bunch of zesty ass behaviour. I don't believe it. I'm sorry. Yeah. Ah, oh, why be? Why be? Why be? Like I said, what you wanna do? Don't worry. Listen. From now on, don't worry about the why be's imagination, because my my imagination fine. I'll tell you what's not fine. These cats. Changing their name. Talking about AJ. AJ's wick. Throwing it back and again. It's not even just the throwing it back. We, like, me, would I would I find it funny me trying to shake my booty like a female? No. Yeah? Would I find it funny me trying to shake my booty like a bitch in heat? No. However, if, if he did it, yeah, and it was dead and it was kind of like, oh... He got a stiff back and whatever else. I'd get it. I'd say, you know what? Not me. Yeah. But whatever. But that technique is fire. That's the thing I don't get. I know a few Rainbow Dons and they told me, wow. Yeah. They told me 100% this cat is experienced. Yeah. He would win. He would be in the top 10. Never mind bronze medalist. He'd be the gold medalist of throwing it back. That's what he would win. Yeah. You can't win at boxing. But what you can win at. He's going to Soho, going to them CD clubs in Camden and getting all the way on it with a whole bunch of man and a whole bunch of poppers and a whole bunch of GBH. <laughs> well, that's, what, that's what he would be winning. I'm hearing Fraser Clark. Yeah, he number one poppers. He loves poppers. Yeah. <laughs> he loves Soho. He loves Camden. Is it Camden? I'm not sure. There's some next place for sure in London. And it's some next rainbow thing. And then man get all the way zesty in there. Got all these background clubs. Yeah. Anyway. Listen, like I said, I've got more videos coming soon. You best believe it too. I've got videos of Gillian White talking about, oh, look at this man's willy. And well, it's just, man, the man weird. <laughs> I'm telling you now. And for a long time, people kind of put it off. Oh, no, he joking. Yeah, he joking. Yeah, he, don't get me wrong. It was all fun and games until some next big burly Don took your second name. That's, what, look, that's for me when the jokes ended. Yeah. It was suspect anyway, but the jokes for me ended when you when you allowed a big burly man. I mean, what's the explanation for that? Why would a man allow another man to take his name? That's a no-no. It's not happening in my squad. Yeah, if you're in the YB squad, you're not taking my second name. Because we ain't moving like that. That's what we're not doing. <laughs> yeah, of all the ways we may move, I'll tell you how we're not moving. Imagine that. That for me is instant disqualification. If any man has the zesty brain particles to even think, oh, why be? I want to change my name to yours. What? What do, what do you think this is? <laughs> yeah, you best go to Camden. <laughs> yeah, you best go to Soho and go to one of them seedy clubs about take my second name. But this other guy, listen. Fraser, I know for a fact when Fraser listened to this video, yeah. And the, just the bits I start talking about Dillian, he's gonna be like, ah, oh, damn, he off me. But listen, I come back to you, cause you do. This for me is as bad as. Don't get me wrong, Dillian and Dean. Yeah, Dillian and Dean. I mean, there's a reason. Think about it. Start joining the lines together, people. Why do you think Dean White's promotional company is called Black Box? <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Who got a black box? <laughs> yeah. Whose black box does Dean like? Exactly, Dillian's. Oops, <laughs> yeah, box, 100%, don't tell me, don't tell me, all these shilly and trite man fans, it's a complete coincidence, isn't it, it's a complete coincidence that the promotional company is called Black Box, the, yeah, Dillian's Black Box, yeah, we know Dean, he loved Dillian's Box, and that's the end of that, yeah, and that's what, a lot of these cabal cats, a lot of these cabal cats, they do subliminal things, they put little things out there, they put these little feelers out there, oh, black box, and it's all, it's all kind of inside jokes, and I've got to admit this, the common denominator here is Matchroom, yeah, I believe Matchroom and Barry and the little black book and whatever else, uh, there must be some sort of thing going on here, and I, and I can't lie to you, I'm the only one who told you, man, that these dons, I mean, why, I've been telling you, why, how do you think Dillian White was able to get on so many Sky pay-per-views despite them being complete trash shows. No one, who want to watch Dillian versus some bum? No one want to watch that, but yet time and time again, he on pay-per-view. Oops, I told you. 
It's the backroom casting couch. Dillian goes in there. There's some next white, there's some, some next old white Dan, or a few of them actually. Yeah, Dillian goes in. There's a few old Sky executive Dons in there. Dillian throws it back. And it's simple as that. Next thing you know, he on pay per view. That's how it works, people. It's not. It's not exactly. I mean, it's not. <laughs> if anyone follows the news, we know this ain't record breaking things. A lot of you man don't appreciate. You, a lot of you man think, oh no, why be Dillian six foot five and oh, there's no way he listen. Oh, but why be Dillian a boxer and what? But why be Dillian six foot five? Listen. I bet you said. I bet you man said the same thing about Fraser Clark as well. Oops. <laughs> yeah, he's six foot five. He two hundred and fifty pound. He a he a boxer. He a gold medalist or sprawls bronze medalist. And still his back is loose. Super loose. I'm telling you now, if I get a female who can twerk half as good as that, <laughs> the human YB gonna be all the way sprung. Yeah? The YB wishes he can marry a female with half a flex half as a flexible back as your man Fraser Clark. And what I don't understand is Fraser Clark isn't even flexible in the ring. You understand? It's like, uh, how can your back move like that, but in the ring you're all stiff and heavyweight looking? It's mad. I'm thinking, what the? You train every day to box, but you're stiff as a board and looking whatever. But yet, when it comes to doing something you're not experienced at, allegedly, all of a sudden you're back flicking. He has to flick. Do you understand? His booty was popping. That's what I'm sorry, but that is what you call. Listen, that is what you call making your booty pop. You can watch it. He's popping it. That, that You don't just... Try it yourself. Yeah? Try it yourself in your own time. Try and make your booty pop like that. You can't do it. When I, when, I've tried it myself. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe I'm overplaying it here. Maybe I'm just being... I tried it. When I do it, all my back... My back goes up and down. I don't know how you detach the tip of your booty from your back. I just don't get it. This takes training. This, some top here, some top has trained Fraser Clark down to the umpt degree. Yeah? Some next matchroom top executive Don has been training and rearing all of these cats. Dillian, AJ, Fraser Clark. They've all been brought up for the, for the Sky or for the whoever matchroom casting couch. That's the only explanation here, folks. I hate to break it to you. I know matchroom fans are mad. But once again, I'm just putting the lines together here. Yeah, the same way we heard about Virginia Guthrie, your man Fraser Clark is the male version of that. He'd been reared up and put to work on the circuit. That's the conclusion here. If you don't like it, it says something about you. It don't say nothing about me. I'm just telling you, I'm putting the little things together. Oops. Yeah? About, I, I was just messing about. If you was just messing about, like I said, people, if you don't believe me, try it yourself. Yeah? If any of you man can make your booty pop on the first try, send it through. I want to see it. Because I, I don't get it myself. Like I said, females who train for 10 years can't make it pop like that. He's doing it left and right. He's doing it around the world. He proper, the rhythm. He's good. I know what I'd lie, yeah. If that was a woman, I'd have my, listen, your man the YB's wick would be semi long watching that. It was all fluid and moving. I was like, what the fuck? This guy, big heavyweight Don as well, that's what I don't get. How can a big heavyweight Don as well? These Dons have no flexibility, but yet his booty popping. How'd that work out? <laughs> it don't make no sense, does it? Exactly. Yeah? And that's what it is. Oh, why be this? Oh, why be that? Start focusing on the things in front of your face. Don't worry about what the YB doing. Because you don't see me making videos about things that ain't happen. That's what you don't see. Yeah? And last thing I'll talk about on this whole note. I want to talk about the link here. Because you man who follow the channel know that I've exposed a Donny called... What's the man's name? Some next Goofy Don. There's some next Goofy General called Fernando Alonso. Yeah, now Fernando Alonso, a.k.a. Angel Fernandez... Is AJ's new trainer, or is kind of new, kind of old trainer, one of them ones. But you people who know me know Angel Fernandez is no good as a trainer anyway. Two twos. Guess who is the number one head trainer of Fraser Clark? Yeah, so let's assume for a second. Let's assume Fraser Clark is the zestiest of them all. Let's assume Fraser Clark is the zestiest cat in heavyweight boxing right now. 
And I swear down, I didn't even know this. I stumbled on this and I thought, wow, you got to be joking me. Two twos. Fraser Clark's head trainer is none other than Mr. Angel Zest Andes. Yeah, and life's all about drawing lines together. Life's all about looking at the connections. And I've made a nice picture for you, Dons. You can see it there, circled. Angel Fernandez in the cut with Fraser Clark in his pro career. Fraser Clark only went pro in the last year. And guess who there? Angel Fernandez. You got Anthony Johnston, another guy who's suspect right now. Yeah. Of all the guys you may want in your camp, who do we not want? Or of all the things AJ may need going forward in terms of skills, what don't he need? He don't need more zesty dudes. That's what he don't need. He had plenty of them already. Again, I'm sure you man fans will tell me, oh, why be? It's a coincidence. It's a coincidence. AJ's useless trainer is with the number one zestiest dude in the whole of heavyweight boxing, Fraser Clark. I, I tell you not. I don't believe in it being a coincidence. These are all linked. I'm not sure exactly how they link, but I know they're linked. I know. I mean, look at the pictures here of AJ. I mean, who doing this? Whose idea was it for AJ and, and Angel to take a photo? AJ is looking into his eye. It's just I just don't get it. Honestly, yeah. Let's say I was training AJ. Can you imagine saying, oh, AJ, let's make a photo and... I'll tell you what, because we'll, think about it, someone else had to take, someone else was taking that photo, yeah, so, they had to choreograph this, okay AJ, I'll tell you what to do, you stand there, I'll stand here and look deeply into my eyes, what the fuck, and then the other day I did a video, again choreographed, AJ sitting there, looking down all the way bad, and you got Fernandez hugging him, with his arm over him. It's like, what, the, what are we doing here? Is this heavyweight boxing? Or is this some next agenda thing? I know what I think this is. This, is, this for me is Agenda 101. You had Wilder twerking. Why is it all these dudes twerking all of a sudden? I don't get it. How have we gone 50 years of boxing? And really, of, of the last... I remember, yeah. Lennox Lewis was the guy who people... Lennox Lewis had some rumours about him. But really, apart from not being seen with women, that was the only, that was it. He weren't seen twerking. He weren't seen taking some next man's name. He weren't seen talking about Mike Tyson's schlong. Yeah? He weren't seen looking into some next Don's eyes, or weird looking. He weren't seen being consoled and looking down bad and whatever and being, you know what I'm saying? So, it's mad. 50 years of boxing, Lennox Lewis was the most suspect, and even that was debunked completely. And here we are today. Today, pretty much 90% of them have got some sort of red flag going on. Yeah, 100%. Whole bunch of red flag looking asses. No doubt.